Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. This is one of our many public events here at the Nassau County Museum of Art. Right now we are having an exhibit on Alex Katz and he did a lot of, inspired by a lot of poetry and since um, this dance performance is also inspired by poetry we thought it would be a good mix to bring dance and poetry together. Dance Visions does many things. They do contemporary pieces, but they are specialists in the repertoire of Isidore Duncan. She was considered by many to be the mother of modern dance. When she burst on the scene, I think she had an inherent feeling of wanting to express her deepest feelings, her relationship with nature. That, I think, and Greek mythology and Greek art were the things that she cared about the most. And we have both, of course, in this performance, which is what's so great. Since I was a little girl, I trained in the Isadora Duncan technique uh, through the exact legacy of Isadora Duncan through her adopted daughters. Um, my teacher was Anna Duncan, one of the adopted Isadorables. are stories that really resonate with archetypes and mythology. They're the goddess of the sun and the goddess of the hunt. It's about renewal. It's about transformation. It's about change. It's about going forward, breaking through. It's really a dance uh, that celebrates life itself. You get into yourself, but you get out of yourself, and you become, you become archetypes and representative of our universe. It's an amazing feeling. We had Orpheus, the story of Orpheus. We had the other side of the, the underworld, which was the Elysian fields, which can be compared to the heavenly spirits, the blessed spirits. Last piece, the big symphony, was a tribute to Apollo, the god of the sun, a tribute to Dionysus again, the god of wine, and a tribute to Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. in Rhode Island. I was part of the Rhode Island Ballet Company um, and then I went to college at Long Island uh, University SW Post for dance um, and during that time in 2005 I auditioned for Beth and I've been dancing with her since then. I do enjoy this type of movement. I think you just have to think of the stories and then try to relate it to yourself in like your own life however you can and just express that through your own emotion however you interpret it. All the dancers are completely different than what we normally perform. One of my favorites is Amazons. It's a very powerful piece. We're actually warriors that are preparing for battle and we're training. And I just love how powerful it is and how powerful the movement is. With this work, it's so wonderful and easy to feel 
that you're connected to the world, you know, that we're all part of, you know, we're all interconnected.